Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another video. So in this lesson, we're going to pick up exactly where we left off in the previous lesson. And in the previous lesson, we got all this code in place. Now, we're going to begin by scrolling way down the scripts to this void here, options window. And we're going to put this code right after the if main options active. So we have the code in place to load the textures, the font and the like into the skin but we still need to actually sign the skin so we're going to say gui <coughs> dot skin is going to equal the underscore So equals underscore option skin. Close that line off. So let's put that into the comments. We'll say, in fact, I'll say set GUI skin to equal the underscore option skin. Now we're going to handle um, changing the colour of the font and the font sizing. So um, let's get the GUI sizing in place first, I think. So we'll say option skin dot button dot font size. Is going to equal and we want the option underscore options font size and we'll close that off so that's the options font si size from the game manager script which we got in place the previous lesson let's break this up for commenting so we'll say set button font size to equal the options font size and you can put from the game manager script So let's just save that off for a moment. Now I'm just going to look back at the previous lesson. And yes, we did get the alignment middle center. Again, you could actually put this code with this one if you wish. So let's save that off and we'll continue on and we'll say again underscore option skin we're going to say dot button dot normal dot text color so this is how you're going to change the color of your text so if we come to the options skin so as you can see I've just reset this again so button um, normal here's the text color and we have the hover one as well so we now say color dot and you can pick any color you wish now I'll use magenta. I'm going to close that line off. We'll just break this up for commenting. Now, these colours are going to look 
very garish. Um, they're not the colours that I am going to use, but because they will be so bright and so out of place, it'll be easy to see the effect of the code, but obviously I'll probably change this to a more subdued colour at a later date. So we'll say set the text colour of the button within the GUI skin and you can put normal in there as well <coughs> to equal and I'm just going to put this colour because as I say I'll probably change the colour out Let's just copy that. We'll paste it in below. And we're going to do the same thing, but this time, rather than normal, we're going to change that to hover. I'll switch that in the comments as well. And let's change this. We'll use blue actually. So let's just save that off and we'll come to the game. We'll set this going. So as you can see, I've changed the GUI. I've not done it all as you can see, but there's no code that's been altered. It's just that I'm using different textures. And again, I am going to make these available on Patreon. So I'll probably do that at the end of the month uh, once I've got a few more textures done and then you can download it if you wish from there so let's select options so as you can see I've added little screw heads to the button textures you can see that down here so as you can see now, the obviously the text different colour and it's different colour based on which one is selected. Let's come back and as I say, I know them colours don't look good but they will be changed. Now, with that being said, some of you may prefer to use texture rather than the actually writing it out here in the button so what happens if you want to use a texture rather than a font well that's very easy um i'll just put it down here for now obviously these this line would normally go with the other um variables but i'm just going to put it here so public texture 2d underscore and i'll just call this test because this is just a test and we'll use the game options button here all you need to do is get rid of the text that includes the quote mark then the name of that variable which I've just used as test. Let's save that off. We'll come to the options manager. As you can see there we can assign a texture. Now I'm going to use this one because it's the only one I've got at the moment with text. As you can see, I've had it, so it's sort of engraved in this metal button. Yes, it's one player. It should say graphics options, but it doesn't really matter. This is just to show you how else you can do something. So let's just run through again. And as you can see, 
I would need to adjust this slightly. There is an issue with the on hover. Basically, I'd want to create two, one for each, but it can be done as seen here. Let's just stop that there. So, <clears throat> there is a little something extra just to show you what can be done. Um, if you want to see more of me using textures in that way and actually creating different textures for the on hover and everything else with the actual lettering within the texture, just let me know and I'll be happy to come back to this. But um, I'm sure most of you are capable of actually doing that for yourselves if you want to do things that way. So we're going to leave it here for this lesson. As you can see, I think the GUI is far better now. And um, there's still going to be a lot more I need to do. But um, as I said, we'll leave it here. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.